kitchen. For this recipe, we are I'm gonna make some tortillas. We are going to need some corn masa. Uh, I like this brand. Uh, it's gluten free, maseca. It tastes very authentic, so I I've been using this for a long time. Some water, some uh, sunflower oil, and some uh, pink salt that I like to use. I don't measure, but we are going to add la masa around that much. Maybe it's like a pound. I never measure. So, uh, and I guess any Mexican mom making tortillas will measure. Like we just do it. I don't know how, but we do it. And then here we are going to add some salt. like a teaspoon or so and some oil hey i do have the the recipe that i wrote already so i'm gonna put it i'm gonna attach it at the end of the video so first the oil we mix for the oil and flour to get together If you have a mixer, you can all do all these things in the mixer too, so it will be easier. I like to mix with my hands because I like the feeling of, of the masa. It feels very nice, like Play-Doh or something like that. Now that the oil is incorporated, the salt is mixed, now we are going to start adding the water. Here I have water. You keep mixing until you get a, a dough that it's it's soft, but not that soft. It, I really always feel like it reminds me like Play-Doh, like really it has that texture, but a little bit softer. pre-cut um, bag so this is a bag from the grocery store and now in New York we don't have more bags so I did save a few I'm gonna show you the bag for me the black bag from the supermarket it's amazing because it has some kind of a texture that for me it's very easy to use okay so we are going to use some scissors your plastic bag any bag fold it you're gonna cut the handles and you're gonna cut the bottom okay now you have a piece of plastic like this and you're gonna measure your tortillera so you're gonna measure the plastic to fit into your tortillera and you're gonna cut it. You can cut it and use it like that. You can cut it and use it like this the way I do it. 
or you can cut it this other way. Okay, so you cut the back, you make, cut it again. <laughs> You fold, fold again, and then you're gonna have a square. They hold together from this, the inside part, and you're gonna measure that to your tortillera. So you want the radio of the plastic to be in the middle, and you're gonna make press it, and you will see where to cut. This is to make two rounds that are going to fit in your tortilla, just like this, all right? So now we are going to get the dough. The dough, you're gonna roll it again in your hand. You can get a small size ball, like it fits in your palm, and then you put it in the middle of the tortillera. You put the other plastic on top. Press it a little bit. When you press it, it's fine. You can press it with your hand. So you you kick, and then you put the plastic. You press it. Then you are going to make la tortilla. You see? You peel out this, and you have a tortilla that we can put in our comal. Okay, so we are going to continue doing that uh, with the rest of the tortillas. We are going to roll till we have a bowl. You press it and then you put in your tortillera. You put the other plastic on top and then you press it. Press hard, like uh, from one to 10, press it around eight or nine. Not that hard, but hard. And voila, nuestra tortilla is ready. You peel it off from the plastic into your hand, uh, in the middle of the hand. Look, if you put it in your hand, it's not gonna stick to your hand. So you can pass it from hand to hand and it's fine. Now we are going to put this tortilla in el comal. Now we have our tortilla, you put it in your hand and then just put it in the comal. Just throw it without being scared. We have our tortilla there in the back, ready to come out. You wait for about 20 seconds or so and then you flip it. You can do this also with a spatula. Let me show you how. I do it with, your, with my hands because I'm always making tortillas very fast so I can use my hands. But uh, it's easier to use a spatula. So you see, you can press it. And now, most of the times, on the third turn, it will, it will get some nice air. You see? And they have a saying in Mexico that when the tortillas get puff, puffy like this, you see? Uh, you are ready to get married. <laughs> You want to have that color, like a golden color, and when you turn it. So these are ready to come out. Okay, so you take them and put them here. You see? If you find that 
your masa gets dry while you're making the tortillas, it can happen. You can just add a little bit of extra water and mix it again. It sometimes happens when it's dry and you're making the tortillas, it will dry. So you just add a little bit of extra water and mix again. Now your masa it's it's soft again. We are almost done. And I'm gonna tell you how many I did. And we are done with the masa. I finished. I'm gonna put the tortillera away. I always leave the plastic, you can reuse them. Uh, if you leave the plastic inside inside the tortillera you can reuse it a few times so i'll put that on the side and we are almost ready with our tortillas these are beautiful tortillas as you can see they're getting a lot of air salen esponjaditas what i found that i like to do is um, the back side of the griddle i put it in high the, the front side I put it in medium so I'm gonna be pushing always the tortillas to the back I put it in the front and then while it's cooking the last the, the one in the back is gonna be ready to take out and then I can move the one to the front to the back and put the other one in the front you don't want to put your your raw tortilla in the back where it's on high because it's gonna get stick and then it gets burned so if you put it on medium on the front and then let it finish cooking on the high heat you will have a, a better tortilla because it won't stick to, to, to your pan another tip to do is add a little bit of oil on the griddle just in case and for your tortilla not to stick on them so you see, I finished with my batch. I don't know how many I got. One, two, three, four, five. I did 33 tortillas. And we are ready to eat. The best way to eat a tortilla is with a little bit of salt. Roll it. Taco de sal con tortilla. Like a taco with salt. <laughs> I hope you can make tortillas at home and enjoy it with your family. You can make tacos, quesadillas, and many other things that it's always good to enjoy a, a good fresh tortilla. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you wanna if you want me to try another recipe, uh, you can let me know give me some feedback <laughs> okay bye guys until next time i hope you enjoy your tortillas adios